Hey guys, welcome to my Q&A video. Today I'm going to be answering questions you guys asked on my Scratch account about my art, pets, books and movies, and more. My number one inspiration for drawing is probably Studio Ghibli. If you don't know Studio Ghibli, they're an animation studio based in Japan that makes really good animated films. I really like the films aesthetically, but also just like the storytelling inspires me and I don't know, I just really love them. I also like a lot of Disney movies. Most Disney movies, I just like them because they're like silly and they're good to watch on a bad day. But I also really like the art style in Disney movies, especially um, the watercolor backgrounds. I'm also inspired by some uh, non-animated movies also, especially ones like Amelie or pretty much any Wes Anderson movie. I love the color palettes that they use and also just like the shot composition and stuff um, is inspiring to my art. <laughs> I'm also inspired if I see someone with like a really cool fashion style I might want to draw them or like use their clothing and colors in my art and uh, oh and of course I'm inspired by other artists. Some that I like in particular are ones that make shows I like, like Natasha Allegri, Rebecca Sugar, Pendleton Ward, um, and also just artists like on Instagram, Tumblr, things like that. Right now, I'm in college and I'm studying art for that, but this is really the first time in my life that I've taken actual art lessons. Um, before this year, I've been completely self-taught, and by that I don't mean I have learned like completely on my own, but I use a lot of like books and online resources to help teach myself to draw. Um, when I first started getting serious about drawing, I used like really bad like anime tutorial book kind of things, like Christopher Hart, like if you know him, he's... <laughs> don't, don't even get me started, it's, it was bad. Um, but I also watched a lot of like YouTube tutorials. Um, I know like when I was younger, I really liked Mark Curley, <laughs> and I looked at TV and art a lot. Um, nowadays, I also watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, I really like Mimi Yumi, um, Sarah Tepes. Um, I also do a lot of photo studies, so like I'll find a photo or like a screenshot from a movie I like and try and. Uh, remake it like in my art. The main drawing program I use right now is Procreate which is an app for iPad that I use with my Apple Pencil um, but I also use Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator and sometimes the Scratch Vector Editor. When I get art block, I like to do photo studies a lot. Like if I just have no clue what to draw, I'll just look up a photo and copy it like for my own practice. I also like doing fan art for similar reasons. I don't have to be as creative with it. I can just kind of draw something that I like. I also just look at inspiration like from other artists on Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube. So here's a drawing that I did in 2010 and I drew this on Scratch originally and that it was for, I was making a tutorial on how to draw anime eyes and then here I just redrew the drawing today in Procreate. Yes. My favorite fruit is probably bananas and also my favorite fruit smoothie is bananas. Um, I just put like banana ice milk and then um, sometimes I put like chocolate syrup or Ovaltine in it. Yes, I enjoy reading. Um, I used to be way more into reading than I am now. Like around middle school I would read like two or three books a month. My favorite book series is probably Harry Potter, and my favorite standalone book is A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki. Yes, I watch anime. My favorite is probably Avatar The Last Airbender and uh, The Legend of Korra, if those count. Um, 
I know those are pretty American, though, for anime. Uh, my favorite, like, actual Japanese anime is probably Oran High School Host Club or Sailor Moon. There aren't very many artists I like where I like most or all of their music. I mostly just listen to, like, one or two songs by an artist, so here are a couple of the songs I've been listening to lately. Mamma Mia by ABBA, This Diamond Ring by Gary Lewis and the Playboys, Dearest by Buddy Holly, Dream Lantern by Radwimps, No Wonder I by Lake, She Don't Care by Tom Rosenthal, This December by Ricky Montgomery, You Got What I Need by Freddie Scott, Chinese New Year by Sales, and Like or Like Like by Miniature Tigers. This question is super hard, but I'm probably going to have to go with Spirited Away just because that was the first Studio Ghibli movie I ever saw, so it kind of has a special place in my heart. My favorite main character is probably Nausicaa from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind just because she's such like a strong character. I also really like a lot of the sidekick characters though, like Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle, Lynn from Spirited Away, Dola from Castle in the Sky, and Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. Just cause like, I don't know, I really like like sassy characters, I think they're really funny. I like Animal Crossing way better, and that's saying a lot cause like, I really love Pokemon, but Animal Crossing will always be my favorite game. It's really um, calming to me to play, and it's just like, it's a really aesthetically pleasing game. I've played it for, I think, over 800 hours, the latest game I mean, New Leaf. Um, yeah, I just really love Animal Crossing. My favorite villagers are Filbert and Rasher, and my favorite special characters are probably Leaf and Lottie. My favorite character from Steven Universe is probably Garnet. That 1,000 years of no dinner bit was pretty funny. <laughs> All comedy is derived from fear. <laughs> you are too much. My favorite animal is definitely dogs. I think they're super cute and super sweet and I love them with all my heart. My favorite color is light teal. I'm a Hufflepuff and my boyfriend Nate is a Ravenclaw. I'm on Tumblr, YouTube, Instagram, Scratch, and I also play some virtual pet games like Goatlings and Neopets, but I'm not very active on those. My favorite Pokemon is definitely Torterra. Uh, when I was little, my favorites were Bulbasaur, Eevee, Mareep, and Dragonair. Um, but then I stopped being into Pokemon until my freshman year of high school. I got Pokemon Diamond, and my starter was Turtwig, and um, the worst thing happened, I left my game at a car wash and lost it forever, which was devastating because that was the game that like really got me back into Pokemon, and I especially really loved that Torterra. how I would describe my fashion style, but here are a couple outfits that I wear. My go-to outfit on lazy days is just to wear like a big t-shirt and PJ shorts. <laughs> yes, I have several pets. Um, the only pets that are like mine specifically are my rats who are named Dipper, Mochi, and Luna. And then we have kind of a family cat that technically belongs to my sister. Uh, his name is Harvey and we found him as a kitten in the backyard. Um, and then my boyfriend has Harvey's brother, Pancake, and another cat named Gigi. Thank you everyone who submitted questions and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!